when we look at the lives of the saints, regardless of where or when they lived, we can see how their love for Jesus Christ completely changed their lives. Their faith in Christ inspired actions and attitudes revealing without question how deeply they honored Jesus Christ and his gospel. Consider, for example, St. Seraphim of Sarov. St. Seraphim knew that his love for God also inspired a deep love for everyone and everything around him. He loved God so much that even animals felt a sense of fellowship with him. A bear that lived in the woods close to his hut was known to come to him and eat out of his hands like a domestic pet. Many people visited St. Seraphim, especially those with grave illnesses or deep personal troubles, and he greeted them all with great love and radiance, calling each and every one of them, My Joy. And no matter what time of year that it was, St. Seraphim greeted everybody with the Paschal greeting, Christ is risen. He saw in each of them Christ, and through their encounters with this holy elder, they found comfort and strength and guidance. The love that flowed from St. Seraphim's heart allowed him to be at peace with the whole world. And that peace did not come from St. Seraphim. It came from God himself. And when people asked St. Seraphim how they could best help people around them, he would say, Acquire this spirit of peace, and thousands around you will be saved. When we have the peace of God in our own hearts, others will see this, and that peace will touch their lives as well. The most important thing we can do for God is to love Him with all of our hearts and to make that love conspicuous in our interactions with other people and in the way that we interact with the world in general. Every interaction is a possibility for boundless joy. In every person, there is the risen Christ. And greeting all and treating all with a spirit of peace unlocks the beauty of God's kingdom in our own hearts in those relationships, and therefore also in the world around us. Acquire the spirit of peace, and thousands around you will be saved. Thanks for listening to this episode of my podcast. If you'd like to learn more about Eastern Orthodox Christianity, but aren't near an Orthodox church, you might be interested in the Fellowship of St. Theophon the Recluse, an online community that I've started for seekers and inquirers all in that same situation. We have members in the U.S., Latin America, the British Isles, Africa, and Australia. For more information, message me or send me an email. Again, thanks for listening today. Until next time, take care and God bless.